haters. I hope I'm not late. All my friends know the low rider. Genial. Híjole, man. Nobody gives me directions. We're here in the George Lopez set. Híjole. Hey, here it is. Aquí está el vato. Míralo. Ching, haters. I don't believe it, man. I'm here on the set of the George Lopez. Oh, watch out. This is where they sit down, man. Híjole, man. All the names here. Sandra Bullock. Watch out. Got Sandra Bullock there. No. Híjole, man. Aquí está la, la oficina. This is his office, man. Eh, toda madre, man. Oh, acá está la cocina. Watch la cocina. Híjole, man. Look at all this. Qué yeah, toda madre, man. Director Pee-wee. Órale. Órale, la cocina. Chinga, that's what George eats, man. Wow. Shit, man, I better get going. Out. Here comes security. I lost watch. I'll catch you in a while, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Why are you crying? Huh? Because security. Why are you crying? Uh, Coming for the chocolate bunny? The chocolate. Ah, hey! Oh, man. No crying, no crying, no crying, no crying on the George Lopez show. Dilo. Show! 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 <laughs> oh, man. You know, Mr. Duran, I had to come back, man, because, you know, it was good luck when I did your show and Garfield and, uh, and what was the other one? And Roosevelt. And Roosevelt, Roosevelt were having a game, man. and I, 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 I said, you know what, this one was good luck. Yes, so, and it's happening all over again. The classic's coming up it's again. It's coming up again. I'm coming with my three-year anniversary. What I let Three years? You were, uh, with I thought me. I didn't think you were going to last one year. So. <laughs> man. Yeah, good for you. Oh, man. I can't believe it, man. Topa un chicanito aquí. Mira Todo más. esto, man. Pinche, uh, we had a show with a quinceañera, you know, which is uh, uh, probably the first quinceañera in prime time. And uh, we have a show coming up where we um, went fishing in Miami, but we were really going to uh, collect uh, my uh, father-in-law's brother who left Cuba on a raft. <laughs> so we got some good stuff coming up. El mero chingón de Latinos on primetime TV, man, is it a little tough for you? Or? No, you know, everything has been good, you know, from the beginning. Um, the show is always, when we started to put it together, they, they, you know, let me kind of bring my own, what was in the stand-up, not all of the stand-up, but bring the mother who was a tough character. Uh -huh. They made me let the, the mother be tough. Uh -huh. They didn't, you know, ask me to soften her up. We, you know, uh -huh. they made her kind of, not exactly like my grandmother, but close uh, enough. Close enough. Huh? Really close. And then they just allowed us to create stories. And the, I told the writers and even Bruce Alford and all the Sandra and everybody that, you know, this was the direction of the show and they never deviated from the realness that we wanted to bring. So I think it's succeeding because it's real and you can watch it regardless of whatever color you are, whether you're Latino or wh whoever, you know, so that, that makes uh, Latinos proud and it makes everybody laugh. And, you know, that's, that's a formula that hasn't succeeded in TV. Yeah, that's right, man. You know, I remember back in the early 70s, uh, I would haul ass on a Friday night, go pick up a 12 pack, you vamos a ver chico on the man. Yep. Now I'm doing the same thing. When I get a, a pack, it's a, I'm getting root beer. Like I did a George Lopez show, man. Oh man, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Freddie Prinze was a, as a, my inspiration to do stand up, and uh, you know somebody that I, I still think of very uh, fondly. And, and Richard Pryor, we did a thing for Comedy Central before you, and uh -huh. Richard Pryor's wife is here, and Richard's a fan. And you know that's all you can ask, man. Is that the people that like Richard Pryor, you know, that I admired and respect and still love that you would even, you know, watch a show and be a fan. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. It's a good time, man. Good time. It's a very, very good time. Say, Gracias a Dios, a Sandra Bullock, man, because she passed by and turned around, looked twice at this chicanita. That's no, right. Híjole. You know, the, one of the things that's a trip is that, you know, I was out there for a long time. I was out there for 20 years and nobody ever showed any interest. And when Sandra came and, and we I found out. I was in out, the audience, though, bro. Orale, uh, yeah, but, but, but you couldn't put me on your show antes. So when Sandra got involved, I mean, she never uh, d got disconnected from the show. I mean, uh -huh. she's more connected now. I got an email from Sandra uh -huh. in, when I was in Washington, D.C. on a Sunday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. She was already working, and she was asking me what I was going to do next summer because 
she wants to do something together. So, you know, whatever she wants to do, and she's great, and is really the reason that uh, there's a lot of people to, who can take credit for the show, but in the beginning, if you don't get that spark, then there's nothing, right. there's, no, there's no fire out there. So Sandra was a spark. And how about the concert you just finished, man, Universal? Universal. I want to thank everybody that came, all the Rasa that came, and everybody really that came to the amphitheater. It was a weekend, man, like yeah, no other. Man. But it was Three days sold, sold out, out, man. You know, you and I was happy, man. I was happy. I was happy that, that all my friends were there. People in the show came down, and the director and the creators and yeah, all my oh, family. Man, and man. yeah, oh, my God. you were there, cabron. I, I saw I, you man, I when I turned the lights on. I saw you. <laughs> I said, "Hey, Mr. Duran." Yes, I saw you. George, you know, te quiero dar las gracias, mano, que este, you know, you came on my first year anniversary, yep. and now I'm celebrating the third year. Y, I just like to let the, the raza know that George no se nos hizo, no se nos hizo culo, man. No, uh, uh, not, yet. not yet. Hey, talk about culo, <laughs> man. You lost too much of it. 40 pounds. Ah, yeah. And you found it, cabrón. I found it, man. I left it on your porch. Did you get it? <laughs> I found it. Here it is. Man. You know, I went to the Tepeyac, and I always go to the Tepeyac to, uh -huh. to eat. And uh, it's the only time I eat bad is when I go to the Tepeyac because uh -huh. it's just so good. And the waitresses there, you know, I don't think they have a liquor license, but todavía tienen tequila anyways, <laughs> man. So... It's a it's a it's a great um, it's a great place in the heart of uh, East LA. East LA, and man, it's beautiful. The Peyek, the manual special. The manual, and manual, flaquito, cabrón. <laughs> so how was it doing the land Grammys, the Emmys, man? Did the Estefans take you to go eat some arroz con We bono? we did the Estefans. We went to it was Gloria's uh, uh, birthday that weekend. Uh -huh. So after we rehearsed, uh, we went to uh, their club there. Uh -huh. And and we uh, Gloria it was Gloria's great. She it was her birthday, and she danced with her daughter all night. And Emilio was there. Emilio was great, man. Emilio was yeah. yeah. totally opposite of what you think. I mean, you see him, and he's always very serious. And you know, we know he's a good businessman, but it's, 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 he's a good guy too, man. Mm -hmm. And funny. And funny. Está guapo el cabrón. Está bueno. Está más bueno. Más bueno.